Time to check in with Court about the extreme heat that continues. And I think it's day two of the extreme heat and it sounds like it's going to continue, Court. It is, Kelly. It's something that we're going to need to be prepared to deal with at least through the upcoming weekend. And as you get a check in with the impacts on the way, sunny and hot for today, although temperatures are expected to fall a couple degrees shy of what we had yesterday. Sierra thunderstorms also possible throughout your Thursday forecast, and then we'll stay hot and dry through the upcoming weekend. As far as what we're seeing overhead this morning, here's a live look over Lake Almanor, where we are seeing some clouds early on today. Those clouds are thinning out a little bit this far north, but just to the south, they're still lingering. And in portions of the northern Sierra, there's that threat for active weather today. Temperatures as you're getting ready to head out the door in the upper 60s to upper 70s for most of the valley. A couple of standouts here, though, 66 degrees in Corning. Right now, 72 in Chico, 69 degrees in Redding and Red Bluff, and 77 degrees at 5.30 a.m. in Oroville. We're in the 60s to lower 70s in the foothills and 40s to 50s in our mountain zones right now. Wind mostly light and out of the northeast this morning. We'll see winds shifting by this afternoon. They're out of the south again. Now, they're getting a little stronger, but south winds not as big of a concern for fire danger because it pulls up that marine marine air that's a bit more saturated, so it doesn't allow us to get as dry. But we are going to get a little gusty, especially in areas where we may see thunderstorms this evening. Winds picking up a bit out of the west this evening as well, and that will result in a modest uptick in fire danger on the far west side of the valley. And then it's mostly south winds gusting in that 15 to 20 mile an hour range over the next couple of days. Friday night, it does get a little bit breezier, so if you have Friday evening plans, that may be something you're contending with. And then winds are still pretty modest through your weekend and staying out of the south. Satellite and radar, you can see some clouds just rotating through portions of the northern Sierra. And as I expand this look, you're going to see what's bringing those clouds and that threat of thunderstorms in. It's this low pressure area in Southern California. You can see it kicked off quite a bit of thunderstorm activity to our south and southeast overnight into this morning. Some of that could track up as far north as our neck of the woods, although the biggest threat is to our south today. High pressure building inland, that is what's responsible for the hotter temperatures continuing to persist across our region through your weekend. The threat of thunderstorms today, mostly along the Nevada border, but we could see that extending further to the west. You can see Plumas, Lassen, and even far eastern Butte County, a slight threat of thunderstorms today, where we're most likely to see the active weather and cloud cover, the northern Sierra, and that best threat of thunderstorms is in areas closest to the Oregon and Nevada border this afternoon and evening. That threat really subsides as we head into your Friday, and we're just seeing sunshine overhead, maybe a cloud here or there, but we're not expecting any active weather tomorrow. High temperatures today ending up in the 90s for the northern mountains, 80s for the Sierra and southern Cascades, foothills in the 80s to 90s today. And if you're in the valley, triple digit heat is persisting. 101 for Redding, 102 in Red Bluff and Anderson, where the Shasta District Fair is continuing today. 101 degrees in Chico, 100 for Orville Willows. Projected to hit 104 degrees this afternoon. If you're trying to head out to the Thursday night market this evening, it's going to be a bit toasty for the start with upper 90s 6 to 7 p.m., mid 90s at 8 p.m., and lower 90s as the market is wrapping up this evening. So just make sure you're dressed for the heat and drinking plenty of water if you're heading out and about. Meanwhile, Chico, your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Not as hot today, but temperatures ramping back up to the 104 degree range Saturday and Sunday. Still in the triple digits Monday and then finally falling out of the triple digits Tuesday. Reading 101 today up to 105 Saturday, 106 Sunday and 104 Monday, but then falling back into the upper 90s Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. So Kelly, while we do fall out of the triple digits, you can see that our extended forecast, we are staying very hot and very dry.